Nationwide, communities are dealing with a wave of school shooting threats. And they are sparking emergency notifications, Facebook group posts, and, of course, a heightened fear for a lot of families out there. Yeah, it was just yesterday that another student was arrested in Putnam County. He's accused of using a school computer to make a threat. News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar explains what set off red flags. So that student is accused of using Google Translate on a school-issued computer to make that threat. According to the sheriff's office, this is what all of this would have looked like. He's accused of writing this phrase in English, I have a gun. This is what it would sound like. I have a gun. Then he's accused of having it translate into Spanish, and it would sound like this. Tengo un arma. Deputies say the 14-year-old tried to blame a Spanish-speaking student for making the threat. A different student said the Spanish-speaking student did not use a computer. Deputies say the Spanish-speaking student was also asked by the 14-year-old to translate the phrase, but he refused. Putnam County Sheriff Gator DeLoach issued this strong message after that student was arrested. He said, quote, first to create a false threat is enough for a one-way ticket to the Department of Juvenile Justice, but then to stoop so low to take advantage of a Spanish-speaking student in an attempt to set that student up for an arrest is despicable and inexcusable. I hope he has time to think and reflect while he is at DJJ on the stupidity of his actions and his treatment of a fellow student. The sheriff's office says the 14-year-old did not have a gun when he was arrested. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station. In Gainesville, an 11-year-old middle school student was arrested yesterday. He's accused of sending several messages to another student threatening to shoot up the school. Investigators say the boy admitted to sending the messages as a joke. It's not funny. In St. John's County, the sheriff's office received several tips about a threat to Sebastian Middle School. Deputies say that threat, though, was not credible, but it is encouraging everyone to report anything suspicious using the Fortify Florida app.